right, I just gotta say this is typical. We're just leaving town and uh, it looks like a fucking tornado. I'm just saying, let's go. You think I'm scared of you? You tornado cloud? Bring it on! I am not stopping. I am not being stopped from making it to New York City tornado cloud. So you go ahead and do your worst. All right, we are in America. It is 2.38 a.m. March 27th. Uh, tomorrow, we will be doing DMT. Um, I'm super nervous. We're gonna have like our last meal here in, the, in a few hours, and then we're gonna fast until, until it, I mean, mostly fast, I don't know. We'll see. I really don't know what I'm doing, guys, but I mean, this is it. We are here in New York City. We're about 400 kilometers, 400 miles outside, and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay. Despite every horror movie or weird Reddit story I've read about these little rest stops and how sketchy they are, I gotta stop, man. I got we gotta rest. Oh. We are about 350 kilometers from Brooklyn. 350. 350 kilometers from Brooklyn. It is, uh, what, 7 a.m.? All right, it's 6. It's 6 a.m. I mean, that's close enough. Anyways, we're going to sleep for a bit here at this rest place. And as long as we don't wake up murdered, we'll, we'll, we'll head... We'll hit the road on the way to Brooklyn. We'll, we'll be there in the afternoon. Fuck, I'm tired. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. This is the story of DMT, or dimethyltryptamine, a simple compound found throughout nature which has profound effects on human consciousness. DMT, even though it's the, the most powerful psychedelic drug known to man, it's in every single ecosystem all over the world. It exists in plants and grasses, and it's everywhere. I mean, it's really the craziest drug to be illegal everywhere because everyone's got it in their system. Well, for anyone, uh, you know, that was born in the 80s or 90s, see this truck here? That's got two logs on it. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to need to go ahead and pass the... Yeah, this just isn't going to work. So yeah, we're gonna scoot past that because uh, Final Destination has taught me that you do not travel next to Intense stuff, man. If you do it, you will talk to intelligent beings from other dimensions, for real. <laughs> I mean, it sounds crazy. You would think that if there's something like that, that it would be on the front page. But it's amazing that people don't know about it. I mean, it's the most incredible experience. I mean, we are such uh, uh, like uh, an experience obsessed society. I mean, everybody wants to go whitewater rafting and people want to talk about, you know, my uncle climbed Mount Everest. It's all about experience. Highway to gas up. Um, gotta love it, by the way. The Corolla, 25 American dollars fills the tank print near. But uh, if anyone's not familiar with like the state of New York, what's going on here? You guys, you can't judge me. I've been driving for over eight hours now. That's something in my beard. There we go. But like, just look at this. Like, look at where I am. Look at this weird little building. The Catskills Coffee Lodge. I don't know. Like, I mean, we're only two hours outside of New York City now. And this is what you, this is what you get. Like, it's just fucking about as country as you can get. Look at how old these homes are. This is a much older country than the country I live in, you know? Anyways, I mean, this is beautiful. I can fucking live here. I'll just, I'll take a place. Yo, man, put me right up. Put me under this rock right here by the water. Nice high flowing river. Man, like, look at that nice house, that blue house back there. You guys see that? Man, give me, I'll take that all day. That's all a man needs. Anyways, all right, time to get back on the road. But yeah, just uh, New York is not, <laughs> the state of New York, I don't think is what people think it is. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right, we're just, uh, well, I guess it's what, 9 p.m. So we're about 12 hours away from lift off, blast off. Uh, I'm pretty nerved, like I'm pretty sketched. 
pretty nervous about it. We're going to go have a, a drink, take the edge off. I'm going to let Luis tell me about his experience. I was watching a couple videos about, uh, about what people say. Apparently, I'm going to talk to someone or something. Or you end up, you, you, you have some sort of interaction with something. That is the prevailing uh, sense that I'm getting. Whatever. I think I'm ready. Man, I've been chasing stuff. I've been chasing. I've been running for myself for so long. Uh, drowning myself in, in, you know, rails uh, or, or drinks or cigarettes. I haven't had a cigarette in four days, by the way. Uh, crumbs, but baby steps. Anyways, guys, yeah, so like, just to be clear, I think the, the main reason I want to do this is to help get a control of some of my addictions, uh, frankly. Um, and it's kind of weird. You're doing a drug to, to try and stop doing others, I guess. But anyways, this is just like, this is going to be a heavy thing. This is heavy. So I'm trying to give it the, the, I'm trying to give it the amount of respect it deserves, but I'm also not, I'm trying not to psych myself out about it. Look, man, I popped pills ecstasy when I was 16 years old, eating hands, handfuls of mushrooms, done acid from a stranger, you know, I met on the streets of Ottawa. So, I mean, I got nothing to be scared of. But I am I am a little I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Anyways, let's go let's go unwind a bit and let's talk to Luis about it. And uh, yeah, before we know it, it will be the sun will be rising and we'll be on we'll be on, on, on our way. Anyways. We all want to ride roller coasters and see the craziest movies. There is a little powder, and you smoke this little powder, and it will change the way you look at everything. You won't <laughs> care about UFOs. If a UFO landed right out there, I'd be like, wow, yeah, they're probably from another planet. Whatever. It's not DMT. DMT is 100,000 times crazier than that. It's like mushrooms times a million plus aliens. <laughs> plus, <laughs> that's what it's like. And literally, I mean, it sounds, it's, it's crazier than you could possibly imagine or describe. If you take DMT, you will communicate with something. And it's, it's, it's so beyond description that me talking about it is like trying to explain a kaleidoscope to a blind man. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Like, there's no way you could explain it. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's so beyond anything you can explain. Point, but something communicates with you when you when you do this stuff and my words do it no justice the craziest thing about dmt because dmt is literally like having a meeting with god it's like having a meeting with divine unbelievably wise incredibly loving energy like whatever it is the source of everything and it leaves you so humbled that after that after it's over you have a it's like literally like you're still you you still look like you you still wear the same clothes you are but you're not really you anymore i mean you literally have been changed you know you have experience something that very few humans experience and the thought to me that people can go through their entire lives and not know about this is an incredible waste of time it's like your life could be so much more positive and so much more interesting and fascinating and you you would be so much more humble and aware of what you you really are and where you really stand if you just have this experience the crazy thing is you can get alcohol everywhere you go to Dwayne Reed buy a, <laughs> a jug of wine and sure. get effed up you yeah know? I mean we have we have drugs that are available I mean how many times you talk to a girl oh I don't do drugs I mean you want She's hammered, smoking a cigarette. <laughs> you know, I mean, everybody, there's there's drugs, caffeine. I mean, I'm drinking a coffee right now. It's just, it's sanctioned. It's a sanctioned drug because it's it's great for capitalism. It keeps you going. It keeps you working. Mm -hmm. But there... All right, guys. We got the pizza. No, that's quite all right. Guys, we got the pizza. We got the midnight pizza in New York City. We forgot to get the story at the bar, though. So you're going to give it right now. What's up, Patricia? What do I got to look forward to tomorrow? Sum it up. To think of yourself separate to your body in a completely new perspective. To understand that you are not simply the vessel that is consuming that cheese that comes from the cow that you oh, are yeah. something separate and different and at the same time part of a giant collective that is spreads beyond all recognition of how you could ever conceive okay. reality all right first of all this cheese came from the tit secondly 
From the what? <laughs> From where? The tip. The tip. <laughs> okay. So now give an answer like you're not trying to be profound. Straight up answer. Yo, what's this shit like? A shitty answer. Just a shitty answer. Just like off the top of your head. Whatever. <laughs> Don't be poetic. Just be like, yo. I'm you, gonna talk to like a little goblin or something. Man, you you know? will see fractals in ways you never even conceive fractals possible to be seen. That's... I don't know what a fractal is. You, you know, know what it's it's people. People. <laughs> this is perfect. Okay, you will understand fractals. Tomorrow. Who am I gonna talk to tomorrow? It could be a dove. It could be an angel, a devil, a student. I heard mechanical a rock. elf. Mechanical elves are just a representation. <laughs> Why should we be just... mechanical? Like that is what someone told me. I, Stay away from the mechanical elves and it, don't take anything they give you. Uh, that is what a, someone it's said a, to me. Person, it's, I'm not kidding. Don't, <laughs> no, it's horrible. don't say that. It's You're horrible. Scaring me. No, no, it's scary. You know this is this is the shit. Why I don't do sh drugs. There it is. There it is. But this is supposed to be something that is actually enlightening. Can yes? I have some pizza? I will be mad if you don't take some pizza. All right, guys, we're going to go to bed. Ah. Luis, tomorrow, we'll see you there. You got Expand any last words for it? What should I think about as I sleep tonight? Other than boobs. Meditate why. Mm, Meditate my why. Car. I Meditate drink the there. Why. This pizza is better than DMT right now. It's pretty good. It definitely is, probably. Um, I drink, therefore I am. Mm. I think that was played of. You drink so. water. Yeah. No, I mean alcohol. I drink, therefore I am. That's Plato. All right. Good night. Good morning. Oh, it's 7 a.m. We're just going to hop in the shower. Oh, and then it's off. Off to the dojo. Off to meet uh, our friend, Mr. O'Neill. And, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's going on inside the walls of my brain. Yeah. I'm better. I'm better. You gotta clean up the beard for your first DNT trip, right? Right, fam? Uh, okay. We got our lucky red shirt on. We got our comfortable shoes on. We're ready. This is our uniform. We'll see you on the other side. Part two video dropping uh, tonight. Wish me luck. There's, uh, you know, there's, there's drugs out there that are actually good for you. There's drugs out there that are actually good for your mind. I do drugs because I, I find the state that psychedelic drugs put you in very fascinating and very introspective and you can learn a lot about yourself and you learn about a lot about life because it removes you and your ego from the equation. You get to look at things from like a, a newborn's perspective.